we've been waiting for. It's time for our main event. It's time for the NWA World's Heavyweight Title Matchup, and let's go to the tail of the tape. The physical matchup, slight height edge, slight weight advantage for Jeff Jarrett, but when it comes to experience, a huge advantage for the reigning NWA champion. November 2002, Jarrett beat Ron Killings to win the NWA title. Since that time, the only men to wear the gold have been Jarrett and AJ Styles. No, this is not the same Jeff Jarrett that fulfilled his lifetime dream by winning that title. This is a calculating and a much more dangerous man now that he's regained the gold. And this is the question that we will answer tonight. This is AJ Styles' opportunity to show Jeff Jarrett that he's on equal footing. And yes, he can compete at this level. compete. Title 
is the man with all the clout, the most powerful individual on the NWA roster. He's demanding that everyone make a choice. You're either with him or you're against him. But a loss tonight to AJ Styles totally changes that dynamic. Lose the belt, lose the power, Jeff Jarrett. You know he doesn't want to lose that stroke that he's got right here now, Mike Denae. And he's made his choice for everybody tonight. You're either with him or against him. Jarrett accompanied by the TNA management consultant, Don Cowles. Opposite side of the ring, the challenger AJ Styles has backup. NWA Director of Authority, as promised, Eric Watts in his corner. You know, that's not the only power that's at stake in this match, Mike, and we know it. You've got Don Callis against Eric Watts, and it's been, they've been at each other forever. Eric Watts is back, his horse AJ Styles, of course, Don Callis is back, his Jeff Jarrett. What's going to happen to this situation pending the results of this match? Let's send it to JB for the introductions. The following contest is scheduled for one fall as Total Nonstop Action Entertainment Incorporated proudly presents Jarrett Stiles, the rematch. When the bell rings, the man in charge, TNA official, Mr. Andrew Thomas. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your main event of the evening. Introducing, first of all, the challenger. Second into the ring, by the Director of Authority, Eric Watts, he weighs in at 215 pounds and his total non-stop actions only triple crown winner tonight. He attempts to become a two-time NWA heavyweight champion of the world. This is the phenomenal AJ Stop! Introducing, second into the ring by TNA management consultant, Mr. Don Callis. He weighs in at 238 pounds. From Hendersonville, Tennessee, this is the current reigning and defending NWA heavyweight champion of the world, Jeff Jarvis. what it has come down to. The heavyweight championship belt, the NWA World's heavyweight title, 50 plus years of history and tradition behind that title, and maybe equally as important, all the power that goes along with wearing the NWA gold, and that's at stake tonight as well. Well, you know Jeff Jarrett's been trying to play mind games with AJ, telling him he can't compete. You know that AJ Styles has never bought into that. He's already beaten Jeff Jarrett once. He's held the title before. This is his chance for his title match. And we're going to see right now if Jeff Jarrett can compete with the phenomenal AJ Styles. I think we need to address some of Jarrett's comments from earlier in the night. Remember the ones I'm talking about? Yes. Dusty Rhodes is gone. Jimmy Hart is gone. Well, yes, Dusty Rhodes and Jimmy Hart, well, they haven't been at the building today, but we don't have any confirmation that they will be returning. And how about the comments about Hulk Hogan? Hulk Hogan's gone. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Hulk Hogan's knee has not responded to the rehab and treatment following surgery. But we understand that at this time, Hulk Hogan is not able to make any in-ring commitments, either domestically or internationally. Playing on mind games right now, Mike. AJ Styles not backing down for a minute. Jeff Jarrett realized he didn't want to stay in there and swing toe-to-toe -to -toe with AJ right now. And that's, that's, the, that's the, the experience of Jeff Garrett. He knows right now that AJ juiced up. He knows AJ is, is young and athletic and oh, right now. And one more bullet point that I want to touch on from Jarrett's earlier comments when he addressed the troops in the locker room. What could that major announcement possibly be? A major announcement that Jarrett said would rock the wrestling world. A major announcement that Jarrett said the battle lines will be drawn, they better be drawn, and you better be on his side once he makes that announcement. Absolutely You're right. either with Jarrett or you're against Jarrett. That's obviously, whatever the major announcement is, you're going to have to pick a side. And he's let him know they're going to have to pick a side. And I'm, I'm curious to find out what he's talking about. Is AJ working the arm right there. Oh, yeah. Working it. Back to the basics for AJ Styles. 
known more for his incredible high-risk type offense. But probably a smart move on the part of AJ, thinking that he might even confuse Jarrett by using the move like the armbar, like the hammer lock, as we see now Jarrett able to reverse it and ring out the arm of Styles. Talk about grounding him. him. He just baited him right into that. Talk about grounding the challenger. That's exactly what he did. This is now, not. We don't, listen, Callis, we don't need any help with color commentary from you. I'll tell you what, you can choke the guy out, out. You can choke the guy out like that right there. Come on. We're trying to cut the blood flow off there. As you see, AJ Styles somehow reverses it. But I don't think this is the, the, the fight that AJ wanted to have. He wants to do with that, but it's his amusing exhibition style moves. Something that he hasn't done on Jeff Jarrett. Show him something he hasn't seen. That's my opinion. Well, they certainly are familiar with each other. We saw the history. We saw the video package prior to this match. And maybe Styles feels like he needs to vary up the offense. Maintains the side headlock. Now, AJ tried to take him up and over. AJ doing the same thing that Jeff was doing to him earlier. Trying to cut up the blood flow there. You can see him just look at him choking him on the neck. Letting up for a second. You can feel the tension here at the TNA Asylum. Oh! The competitors know. The fans here know. Just exactly what's at stake. Not just the title, but also the power that goes with it. As Styles goes right back to the headlock. No! It's, 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 it's the jab, Mike. It's the jab right now, just like in a boxing match. They're just testing each other out. You know they're sizing up when they're going to throw the hook and when they're going to throw the blow. I think pretty much what we expected. The feeling out process here in the early going of this NWA World Heavyweight Championship matchup. AJ Styles though not backing down. And you know what? It's almost like he's showing Jeff that only can he compete at his level. He can compete at his level as far as in the ring action. Trying to be the same way that Jeff beat so many opponents. Styles with the shoulder block, takes down Jarrett, springs off the ropes. Jarrett tries the hip toss. Blocked momentarily by Styles. Jarrett able to flip over, ducks the clothesline. Finally, no AJ Styles hits it. Styles hits the DDT, drops Jared on his head, One, hooks the leg, goes for the cover, and gets a two count. AJ Styles is going to have to start taking advantage of this if he gets Jared, he gets Jared hurt in any way, shape, or form. Styles charges at Jared, who elevates him, lifts him over the top rope, down to the floor. Oh! Looked like Jared was going to try and slingshot himself, and Styles caught him with a forearm. AJ's just so agile when he went oh. out of the ring, he just got himself ready to go in position, but there's Jeff Jarrett setting him up. And the Jarrett strut after Styles misses the drop kick, but then he kips to his feet and tosses Jarrett over the top. AJ Styles taking advantage of Jeff Jarrett being a little cocky there doing the strut. You've got to take every opportunity you can get any time you get a moment. Like right here, AJ Styles, not going to let Jeff get out there to regroup. He's going to apply the pressure, keep the pressure on him. Talked about how important it was to follow up your advantages. That's exactly what Styles is doing, even though the action is spilled out of the ring and up the ramp. One thing about it, though, you can't win the title outside of this ring. So maybe AJ's playing right into Jeff Jarrett's hands. Jarrett going to try and suplex Styles. Styles able to block him. Oh, look at that! Counter and reverse, and he suplexes Jarrett back first. What a landing, what a crash on the ramp. That's a little different than landing on the mat, Mike. That's the kind of thing that can win you and take you out of this match real quick. And now Styles is, look at this, throws him over the rail. He just flung Jarrett all the way from the top of the entrance ramp over the top of the safety rail and down to the concrete floor at the asylum. Oh, the Styles, look out, look there he goes! You got the chair! Jerry had the chair! He got the chair up just at the last split second. Styles had no idea, but what a precarious position that Styles put himself in because it's no man's land once you leap off that ramp. The referee is in a terrible position right here, Mike. What do you do? He's got to get his. I think he's got to. He's got to give him this kind of a leeway. Yes. Oh, you got to. Andrew Thomas has to give these two individuals this kind of leeway because think of how important this match is. Think of everything that's at stake here. 